if you actually believe Mohammed flew to heaven on a winged horse, that's an anti-scientific belief. We need anything other than the laws of physics and, and the other laws of science to explain everything we see. Conquest, not conversation. It is, it is convert or die. Because if science is based on empiricism, which is a theory of knowledge that you can only learn and know things through observation, whether it's direct or indirect, then how on earth can it reject God's existence? If you deny Allah, it's like you're denying the real world is the real world. The Quran even says, is there any doubt in the creation of the heavens and the earth? The Divine Reality is an interactive two-day workshop. The Divine Reality was an eye-opener for me. And it helps you understand where the atheists come from and how you can actually have a good conversation. So brothers and sisters, if you want to articulate a warm, compassionate, rational, orthodox case for Tawheed, for the oneness of Allah, for His existence, for Islam, to the atheist community, then you can't miss this workshop is called The Divine Reality, Islam's Response to Atheism. So brothers and sisters, I know you're motivated. Now it's time to be empowered. So many of you, not just a handful of people, but many of you who attend will go on the streets, online, offline, on the blogosphere, on the internet, at work, on campus, at university, and articulate a warm, intelligent, compassionate case for Tawheed to the wider society, specifically to the atheist community. Because we know Islam is haq, it's the truth. And we know, brothers and sisters, that Islam is rational and natural. So I see you then. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.